All right, I'm tethered up, man. Tethered to uh, another data plan I have for situations like this. Shout out to the five people watching. I mean, you know, I don't think anyone's gonna get notified this time. Three different times I've had to go live, get wrecked. Take back what I said about YouTube, okay? It was it was definitely charter, all right? Let's all talk trash about Spectrum, okay? Kevin, what does that even mean, dude? What is weird? Weird comment, man. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I think I'm a U.S. talk show. Yeah, dude. Look, man, I just wanted to be here to say hi and to like just, I just wanted to look at the charts. That's all I wanted to do. Kind of go over them. What developments are occurring right now. That was it, man. It could be a 20 minute stream, right? As long as we can get the information out there. But when you have these problems, you just can't deal with it. So, uh, tethered up. We're good. I guess we're starting this show with Bitcoin, 60 minute chart. Because it was kind of a joke. But man, if you were watching at the end of the stream, the earlier one man it looks pretty interesting right i mean it's like you got the 60 minute pattern that we don't really ever look at but in this situation it was different why chat why was it different in this situation to look at the 60 minute on bitcoin i'll give you a second to answer let me know I need to turn it back on ultra low latency too. There you go, Stick. There you go, Diaco. Alex, yes. Yeah, some of y'all uh, got the answer right. Exactly. Exactly, man. So, uh, you had the answer. We looked at the 60 minute because in the four hour, there was hidden bullish divergence. When you make the low, this level of negative momentum, and then you made the higher low with 
higher levels of negative momentum and you pivot it. All right, higher low. And um, that wasn't it though. That wasn't just it. And look, your first level of positive momentum is gorgeous, right? Right on, right on cue, huh? Yeah. The daily, you go to the daily time scale. <clears throat> now we're getting, this is real. This is, now of course, there's 14 hours till confirmation, but if you understand why I'm live right now, it is because of this development on the daily. The daily chat. The falling wedge breakout is occurring. Of course we could get a scam wick, but you would just think that maybe this time is different based on the fact that in the next day or two, you could be going positive on momentum again, and oftentimes when you go positive on momentum, it continues to build and you go higher prices. Okay, this is a continuation, a bullish continuation pattern. We're trying to break out right now. Boom, 60 minute, four hour, daily, all gave the same argument, and they all said higher prices next, not lower. So that is a way you, ha you use your critical thinking to draw a conclusion about the probability of where an asset is going next. Boom. Roasted. Not really, but... Man, I couldn't even... I reviewed the stream a little bit. I couldn't even hear the music most of the time. So just let me know. If it's too quiet, I'm going to only watch Wrench's answers on this because... Dude, my eyeballs are on fire because I have contacts that are literally like torn apart. They're my last ones. I'll get more today, but I put it off too long, man, and I'm paying for it now. So remember what I've said, I try to say to y'all, there's the pain of discipline or there's the pain of disappointment. I am certainly right now going through the pain of disappointment because I chose not to go through the pain of discipline of going to the eye doctor sooner. Right, and all these little issues that, uh, you know, these small things in life we have, they're no big deal, but sometimes they can fester and metastasize, turn into much bigger problems, okay? Because it's irritating me. It's throwing me off. My, uh, throwing me in a funk right now. I'm not streaming in the zone, or I wasn't. I'm a little rattled. I'm trying to deep breaths man it's not normal time for me to stream at all again it's 5 a.m eastern time hey daniel r thank you so much for joining the patreon welcome dude two minutes ago oh and if you don't know we haven't spoke we have not spoken since the stream well, remember the influx of patrons was so much that patreon had all kinds of issues we are now officially yes officially i'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you the number. All right. Good dust morning. BTC looking like a beauty on the daily. Oh my God, the patron. Do you see it, chat? Do you see the number? Someone, uh, y'all want to spam that number in there? Thanks a bunch. Like unbelievable, right? Also, hey. SB, welcome to Patreon, man. Welcome, dude. It's like deja vu all over again. Yeah, LASIK. Yeah, sure. Surely should get LASIK. So we broke the psychological resistance of 1,000. We didn't even know we had broken it. We had shattered it. And now we have 1,101 patrons. So the more people that respect the TA, the more liable those trades that was going to be eventually. So, yes, I am back. That's why you got pinged, T Dog. Why would I ping at everyone? Sorry, internet res issues resolved. I'm live and posted the link. Why would you ask if I'm back if I did that? Just wondering. Where are the buys coming in? 4 a.m. When be a London sessions when this rally started around 2 a.m. Eastern, and it's just kind of continued on since then. But dude, I'm telling you, this is so good looking. It's just weird seeing people. On Twitter like post this chart without like the, the trend lines and stuff and then they try to compare it to 2017 2018 like buying climax correction the crash they try to compare it it's like how can you compare it you're leaving out all the context where you had been in a multi-year bull run 
leading up to that point. In this point, we had not, we had just broken out of a two, two and a half year consolidation structure in July. So this is like a seven month thing going on, seven month bull run for crypto. And, and this is, there was no bearish divergence when we reversed to the downside on any significant time scale. Very good sign. So what happens is you consolidate, then you run again. And on the second high at 46, 50 K, that's when you show really, you show actual daily bearish divergence. And that's when you should be concerned about how things may correct much more, uh, severely, right? Much more deep, deep retraces. When you get that, you just, so I, I don't know. And they leave out the context and they don't even, do you even read the oscillators, bro? You just going to ignore the fact you don't even know how to identify. Someone doesn't know how to identify uh seller exhaustion, impending price action, continuations or reversals. That's very important in technical analysis. A lot of people are very vanilla and it's like, you could hone, you could up your game with more things than just, oh, it looks like 2017, 2018, so it is. And it's like, wrong, wrong. The really, really good looking chart. Uh, Derek Zoolander Center for, that's right. <laughs> Chili <I> already knew. <clears throat> just like that. God, excuse me. Sorry about that. Wrong, stupid. God, I'm out of my element right now, Donnie. So your target here, I mean, is 47K. That's a 100% measured move of this pattern if you get a real, if it actually doesn't scam out, right? It, obviously, anything's possible. You could scam out, dude. Is it okay? It's forty six. Well, it was depended on the breakout point. It at this point when Elon had tweeted, which he's tweeted just a few hours, a couple hours ago or an hour ago, like he said he's off Twitter for a while. It was higher, a higher measure move. But now on where it's breaking out, right here, All right there, forty six thousand four hundred sixty six ish. There you have it, man. All right. Hey, what's up, Paul N, man? Sorry. You said hi. You listen to daily. You were thinking of me. Thank you, Paul. I'm sorry, man. There's just a lot going on, man. I'm out of my element right now. What's up, little Nate, dude? Thanks for the 690. Big one with my beauty on the daily. Don't get stuck in the meme stonks. Dude, I don't... I just, again, like... <clears throat> at some point, you train your, your mind to just not... You just ignore it. I mean, GameStop has come and gone. And we're still respecting the TA. There's going to be another one that does the same crap. We're going to continue respecting the TA. We're going to be looking for trade setups at areas of value where it's easy to manage risk. Far more sustainable model. I'll tell you that. That's a guarantee. Oh, uh, we do have a chart for the Patreon on... Um, I don't know if Brad posted it in the Patreon. Let me see if I can, I know I saved it, but I think I did. Maybe I didn't. I have four cellular telephones, okay? Four. Okay, I thought I saved it. No, maybe I didn't. It's crazy though, it's a crazy chart. I don't even know where to get it. Once he wakes up, we'll, we'll look at it tomorrow. But yeah, the chart's gone completely parabolic. It's unbelievable, dude. So, you have a down sloping breakout, right? Down sloping resistance, we call that the supply line. Why? Because down sloping resistances, that is where sell orders often are. That's why you called this a breakout, but without any confirmation besides the candle close, you went right back down, but that's okay. Look at us now. We made a higher low than the previous low. 
So then you go to the 60 minute and that is where that is where the idea came to be. Wow, three different time scales. All right, your 60 minute candle closed. You got a new one. Oops, let me uh So yeah, you would really think here, you would really think Bitcoin would come to back test 35K or it would back test the neckline at 34,666. Right? You're asking because there were the fake outs, but but I did, again, I, I pinged and said, internet issues resolved. I even apologized for the issues. So you got like a short term target, right? And then you've got a more long term target that takes you to 46K, which is far beyond any target of this trade setup that was posted for patrons today, tonight. Tonight. Oh, asking the real good questions. When's the next XRP pump? Man, I, you know, I. that's a great question, dude. Because I can't wait. I'm just kidding. I can wait. What's up, 6 dude? Thanks for the five uh, Sauron dollars. The Mordorians or something. So good news. Uh, I haven't, we haven't been able to look at it. So that's like the in-depth analysis. 60 minute, four hour daily snacks looking like snacks all implying the same thing that is the critical thinking that can give you a great edge okay so education for everyone out there that's newer or they're already in the thick of it they already know this stuff but dang man reinforcing this every day you watch the stream will only make you better gosh dang ads times are changing all right, times are a changing. I mean, if that doesn't look, I mean, yeah, I had to adjust the trend line, right? On the stupid, you know, it broke that little demand line and then just then pivoted, right? So adjusting it, does this not look like the most sexy, pretty ascending triangle you may have seen in a long, long time? Dude, it's like, I'm like, tearing up because it burns so bad it's just scratching me man i mean come on dude or should i, I haven't played this in a while so it's like come on. come on i mean that is beautiful and you know where it could go if it broke 100 percent measure move which they don't always get there most of them only go about 70 percent of measure move but 100% measurement is 1838. You ready for that? But remember, 1650 was the idea. Why? Because of the bearish deep crab in development. The 1618. 1650 would be your first stop. And that's where a pullback could happen, a consolidation, a flag, a wedge, anything, and then it goes higher. But that's kind of what you're looking at right now. Wave analysis we're looking at. Oh, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> there are multiple altcoins doing well. Litecoin is a kind of your kind of a front runner out of nowhere. Right? I like turtles. Up almost 7%. It's climbing really well. And... It was just another one that was showing an edge, showed the harmonic, showed the lower low, the divergence, everything. Okay, so I think you uh, understand you're on the cusp of an insane breakout, pretty much. 
I just don't, I mean, how many times does it have to test the cell wall before it actually breaks? How much absorption? How much supply is there? I mean, I don't even think anyone knows how much supply there actually is of, uh, of Ethereum. Here's your Litecoin, man, right? Harmonic, one bottom, second bottom, support. Tested it, held divergence at the support. Yeah, rallied, sold off, higher low, rallied again. You're not making higher highs yet. Not yet, man. And when Bitcoin pulls back, Litecoin's gonna pull back, Ethereum's gonna pull, everything's gonna pull back, man. So remember we're looking at 60 minute, 34.5, you could easily back test. Just so market participants uh, have confirmation of their support. So that's uh, that's it, man. You you have to break 146, 147, which you just, how many times are you gonna fail? You'd think if you broke it this time, it would be time to go to 172 because of the pattern, but uh, hey, some longs getting liquidated. All right. God, I'm tired, man. And I've got like so much stuff to do. Tomorrow, Ugh. it's gonna be it's gonna be awful, man. I just wanted to go live to to show these. Oh my god, dude! Sorry, man. It's up to call an audible on music. And there you have it, man. And then, just like that, Bitcoin pulled back uh, pretty pretty hard, right? I mean, you were at 35,600, and now you're at 35K. And that's the psychological resistance that is always going to play a role. That's why it's on my screen. 40K is on my screen. 30K is on my screen. But as long as you uh, get a four-hour close, hour 43 minutes till that happens, a close above 34,618, you'll be getting a confirmed breakout with a can of close again. Hopefully you get better. I would think it'd be a better... It just seemed a little bit more organic this time than black. And that was like Elon Musk, man, tweeting. This has nothing to do with that. This is now like, hey, it was... Multiple time scales being bullish. All right. All right. Uh, if you want to see Cardano, I guess. And it's the same thing, man. It's very similar to um, to Ethereum to GRT. 786 this is all covered in the day stream you know just kind of reiterations but uh this one hasn't had much price action since the stream while like one bitcoin ethereum have had price action hence why i'm live so again just looking at this same thing man it's like uh between the one two seven two exactly you got there all right so you are at <clears throat> the beginning of the pattern completion zone of the butterfly this is exactly where reversal could happen. You're normally looking to be going short at these areas in bear markets and bear trends, right? Where the macro is bearish, Bitcoin would need to be in a bearish trend. Cardano would need to be in a bearish trend, right? For these to be more reliable to short. But now, kind of dangerous because butterflies, especially without any indication by the variables, that it, the buyers are exhausted, this thing could run up, continue to the 1414, or the 1618 is the top of the pattern completion zone. Could take you all the way to 47 cents. You would think the conditions being so bullish, that is an easy possibility. Yeah, I mean, there was opportunity, like Cardano, like many others, there was divergence at a critical ice line support from history. It was one bottom, two bottoms, right? So you could have picked your poison while well, a lot of these different assets were showing that. You know that, especially if you're a patron, because I ping at everyone on all these, most of these, right? 
in charts only. So um, you're you're overbought. So you think at this point at a one two seven two, you could just get a little bit of consolidation before going higher. And if Bitcoin pulls back, you think it, Cardano is going to pull back a little bit too. So. And normally, like I would think, uh, you would use harmonics to kind of gauge where the wave's going, right? You know, targets for your longs because you took advantage of the double bottom, right? Also, like when you know it's hitting a 1618, that could be an area to maybe take profit. And if it reversed and sold off, that's where one could be, instead of like where someone's shorting and they're taking profit at lower levels, that's where someone could be establishing uh, their accumulation, reaccumulation, right? They're adding where shorts would be taking profit in bearish conditions and, and bullish conditions when we'll be taking longs, right? Because like, what's the point going short in a bullish market, um, you know, even at PCZs, man, in crypto, man, you've seen some insane stuff happen. So remember the trend is your friend. That's why you wanna be trading bullish patterns and bullish trends because the bullish indicators are far more reliable and they can oftentimes outperform. There's your Cardano, man. What? Come at me, man. Come at me, bro. Hey, XRP, everyone's favorite coin. There's nothing to look at here. There's nothing, dude. There's no opportunity for a reasonable, rational long. You could scalp or something, but yeah, maybe hidden bullish difference eventually plays out, but I don't know, man. This is a big time pump and dump. Big time pump and dump. You can't tell me something that goes from 28 cents to 75 cents to 34 cents in less than 24 hours. You can't tell me that's not a pump and dump. You're lying. You're an XRP Kool-Aid drinker if you say it's not a pump and dump, okay? There were people even talking about it. Oh, Telegram. I mean, like, I had people in real life reaching out to me about that Telegram pump crap. They're like, it's coming, man. It's coming. It should be pumping to tomorrow around 11 a.m. or something. He was talking about what? And it pumped like that night and then dumped around the time he was talking about it should have been pumping. And I'm like, there you go, man. It's like, this is why you just don't get involved with this crap. It's far, it's far more safe and more sustainable to do it the way we do it. Right? Good God. Growl theory is super right. So get out of here, XRP. We want nothing to do with you, man. I don't care if you go up. It's not about it going up anymore. People that don't understand technical analysis and, and low risk, high reward opportunities. They're not going to get that, man. They're going to be like, hey, dude, you were wrong about XRP. It's like, nope, that's not how it works. There was nothing implying upside. It had just pumped and dumped. No, man. But then if you look at something like like Zcash, you know, a dragon, you know, lots of rational thought put into this critical thinking, ice lines tested, double bottoms, supply lines being broken, patterns we've seen a million times across all markets developed. Like this is stuff that that we're here for. These things can sometimes do crazy pumps, and it, but it had to do with the TA, right? It didn't have to do with a Telegram group, Wall Street bets people. Okay. So nice Zcash pulling back a little bit, still at one point six percent. They, they fail sometimes and they sometimes play out and they can go really high. All right, so you're just probably gonna have to do with Bitcoin. It's back tested 90 bucks, it's trying to anyway. It's a very critical support, it's back testing. Let me show you, showed it on the day stream. Look at this. Look at that high from November 25th. You've broken it, now you're now trying to test it. You'd be preferable to hold that as support because you haven't been able to hold that as a support, right? January 22nd. You couldn't, uh, January 25th, you, you rallied up, thrusted and failed. And then January 29th, you ran up, tested the resistance. So you got to hold it as support. If it can, much higher price in store, 102 would be the first target. Okay, Zcash. Dash. Dash, dude. 
the composite operator is just waiting for you to sell your dash because you're sick and tired of waiting okay I'm not kidding composite operator is just gonna wait it out and as soon as you sell your dash boom price is just gonna just gonna do this <clears throat> that's it man all right assuming Bitcoin doesn't crash or anything with things just keep looking better for Bitcoin so <sighs> gotta break that 200 moving average jeez Yes, the Bogdanovs. Yep, Bogdanovs waiting for you to sell. He sold, pumped it. But all the variables were there. Everything was good. I mean, it's a harmonic pattern completion zone, a bullish Gartley. One bottom, confirmation low, second bottom. Seller exhaustion on the second bottom. Hitting a psychological, and it's also an ice line from history, 100 bucks or so, 96, 98 dollars. You're above it, you're making these higher lows. There's just nothing else that, all you can do is just wait now. You, I'm sitting in Dash. I have a small position just sitting in Dash, just waiting for it to go up and, and run to 133. And really though, like 142 and then 160. It looks so good. It's looked so good for so long and I know people are just getting fed up with waiting, all right? Yeah, I gotta sleep too, man. I gotta get some sleep. You know, I'm drinking coffee and running up this uh, this data plan. Oh my god, dude! It's it's I'm tethering right now. I'm not even using my internet. I'm using this phone's data plan. But smooth, right? I mean, stream like I look at the upload speed and look, it's incredible. It's like 30, 30 something upload. I missed last night's stream. Could you give us an update on VJ? Looks ready to stream. What's up, Manimal? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, sure. There's a supply line there, too. I'm not worried about the supply line, right? You broke that, too. So, oh, you want another bullish variable? Fine. Another bullish variable is a breakout. You have an actual breakout on Dash, and believe it or not, oh, my God. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, this is like a falling wedge now, chat. So you now have another variable. Someone's talking about posting that in the live chat. I saw that. So I'm like, yeah, supply line. Yeah, you're right. You got a breakout. I mean, let's do the sound clip. Dude, does this guy think he's some sort of a talk show? What does that even mean? No, no. I, I think I'm just some random regular person like you that applied myself and invested in myself. And so I'm able to identify this stuff. So it should be inspiration. If some guy like me can do it, you can do it too. No, I'm not some sort of talk show guy or whatever you crazy weird talk you're talking about, dude. Yeah, we'll go to VChain. Great stuff on Dash. In before patrons like, I missed this, man. It's gonna be a 133. They're like, I can't believe I missed it, dude. Where was this? So quickly ins insulted, dude. Yeah, man, you're watching my stream. I'm just here trying to, right? You watch for the value, the education. I give all the stuff and it's like, I just get insulted and it's like, okay. <sighs> Never tried to act actually arrogant before. And when I do, it's all a joke. <clears throat> B-chain. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of like that uh, outside the box thinking here, you know, that wedge that I think this is Stu had, had looked at. It wasn't really at a good area when it reversed, man. It was below really critical support, like this uh, 2.6 cent area. You, like, had to get back above it. You have, but the thing is, you could always backtest. It does, these assets backtest so much, you know, so you can't ignore that. Now, it may not, too. But yeah, if you're talking about like 100% measure move of this or something, pretty good idea here. Now you could use Fibonacci too. 
But if you're talking about 100% measure move on V chain, this is where it could go. 3.4 cents, right? We're talking about three cents. That high from January 6th. Yeah, that'll be tested first. You could break that, and that, that's that measure move. All right, falling wedge. So it was, it was okay. I mean, you know, I think there were better looking opportunities out there at the same time as the, see that's the thing. It's like, yeah, yeah, maybe it showed all this stuff, but what about the other charts, all the other charts? Like, let's go to OXT that's down 5%, you know, really nice, you couldn't break it, man. That's a, dude, you break that, you're going, if you break 37 cents, you could see 50 cents probably the same day or the next day. You just couldn't break it, man. All right. It's just that one wick, man. It's just one high from November 24th, and it just couldn't do it. So it's coming to back test 32.9 cents. You better hold that. But here's the thing. As long as OXT makes a higher low than 29.24 cents, it's fine. Now, people that don't understand trend analysis and stuff might have freaked out and they're like, I can't believe this. It's all over for OXT. You know, yeah, I do really think you want to hold 32.9 cents, this right here, this yellow line. But again, say it falls below it, goes to 30.8 cents, pivots, and gets a higher low. It's all, all is well. No problem, man. So yeah, patience required. I mean, I do, when you post, I post trade setups and stuff, it's like, I don't think I'm never thinking about them going running up like 30% in two hours of me posting them. Okay, I'm not thinking about that. I'm thinking about, yeah, this could take a while, man. This could take a week or something to get to targets, uh, not a day. Where in a day it went halfway to the first target, right? Which is you can see pictures 43.49 cents. So patience, man. Back tests happen all the time. Market participants really like to confirm the validity of old resistances as support. And it's about to try to do that very close. So that's what I'm talking about, right? V chain, you could have gone with, oh, it fell below critical ice line, you know, or you could have been like, well, this ass asset showing all this accumulation after majorly double bottoming on the daily. X, A, B, C, D. Man, that's a thing I didn't even see. Makes sense there, right? I'm too deep. Yeah, kind of a little too deep, right? But Gartley stuff here. All right, 7, 8, 6, 8, 8, 6 stuff. I mean, that is X, A, B, C, D. No matter if it's conventional or not, it's the wave analysis, man. Look what happened after the X, A, B, C, D. Everything turned around. Isn't it gorgeous where this pattern develops Oops. it's gorgeous man so these are things you you want to be looking for when you have big drawdowns xabcd well, look where it's gone since then many other altcoins have done the same thing what's up dark shine rbc to wrap at ether i bet it looks weird because it's wrapped ether Oh, it actually doesn't look that weird. Wow, where did you find this one, man? Yeah, kind of ascending triangle behavior. Pretty much. I mean, I get it. Like You could make the trend line there, but dude. Are you seeing this, chat? What? He's right. It actually looks interesting. That's the word interesting. Where there's a cell wall and there's accumulation currently going on. Not overbought in the four hour. interesting so if you're just gonna like measure you know maybe you could measure the move here it's not the prettiest but definitely looks like a, there's definitely a sell wallet 1.5 million ways or whatever here you go here's your target 2. 5 million waves or wrapped ways is that what it is wrapped ways tip 
Hitchcock, man. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Nice one, Dark Shine. Good eye. My eye's not so good today. Contact's killing me, man. Okay, alright, so this worth, uh, I don't know, whatever. Psychology is there. Of the structure of an ascending triangle. May not be perfect or anything. Yeah, any, any, any bag of glasses, you're right, <clears throat> I've got them, but I, I got them like three years ago and I never went to get the lens crafted, you know, never did it, man, I don't know, this looks really good, it's really interesting, and it looks like it's about to pop, like it's about to go, man, I'm gonna add alert on this, for just for fun, you know, Bullish convergence, you know, so nothing really, no like hidden divergence or anything. It's always good, but you just don't have it. Convergence is fine, man, whatever. Typical contact lens wear, yeah, that, yeah. There's your map. Oh, Ren, Ren going nuts. Yes, it is. Geez, 16%. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Remember how this one started, dude. Mm. Oh, Ren. It's going for it, dude. All time highs rates. Thing is though, it's kind of like it played out, it sold off, and then uh, showed hidden bullish divergence on the four hour, probably the daily too. Oh yeah, dude, look at that daily hidden bullish divergence, man. Yeah, I think we had looked at this. Look, that's gorgeous, dude. That is gorgeous stuff, man. Impending price action, <clears throat> continuation to the upside being implied on the uh, <clears throat> MACD and RSI on the daily time scale. And you also had it on the what? Four hour. Hmm, that's interesting. Weren't we just looking at an asset at the beginning of the stream that was showing the same combination of variables? Oh wait, yeah, yeah, it was Bitcoin. Bitcoin showing the same freaking variables as Ren. So it runs up, I mean, you're thinking maybe double tops, but the gold mean ratio, 70, I'm sorry, 87 cents, man. 87 cents. Gorgeous. This is what dreams can be made of for continuation and the fact that it got back above 59 cents, 60 cents. Big deal. Very, very big deal. Because that's, that's it, man, that's all time highs. You also could look at this like an X, A, B, C, D, where what? This would be a bearish crab pattern. Not a deep crab, just a regular crab. Crab people. Talk like crab. Talk like people. Pattern completion zone is one. Uh, the 1618, that's it. There's no zone, it's not a butterfly. It doesn't matter where you, because they're the same low. Doesn't matter exactly where you uh, do C because they're the same. So uh, that's that's the PCZ anyway. Uh, again, eighty-seven cents. Did I say dollars earlier? Cents. That's where it's probably headed. And man, you got crabs, you got deep crabs, you got butterflies. They're so similar. In B, the B point is it? The B point tells you everything about whether it's a crab. A butterfly or a deep crab right the crab is between the 382 and the 618 
The Butterfly is the 78.6% retrace, and the Deep Crab is the 88.6% retrace. I think the Deep Crab, probably, you would think the way waves work, because it's such a strong B rally, and then the sell-off, like the bulls are so much control. That's why I like Ethereum so much, because it's a Deep Crab. Because it had an 88% retrace on B, right? I think that's super strong. I'm talking Ethereum's like up here, right there. And then you had uh, Cardano at the 786. So Ethereum was the bearish deep grab. Cardano's the bearish butterfly. And then you have Ren as the bearish crab pattern. Pretty amazing, right? So good to see everyone. There's probably like 100 people here probably, right? I would think, assuming. No, there's 845 people here. Thanks for hanging out. I mean, good to see y'all at this really weird hour. It's 5.40 a.m. Do you know where your crypto is? Well, one of your cryptos, Bitcoin, has broken out. It has broken out. And we could look at S coins all night, man, if you want. But I just wanted to go live to give you an update on what's kind of happening uh, with the big boys and some of the little boys, I guess, right? I can't even see. I think I've been live 46 minutes, so pretty much an hour of dealing with the fiasco of the internet. So yeah, I probably don't want to run this up too much, this data plan. Um, again, look at the daily on Bitcoin, and you're, you do not have, by any means, a confirmed breakout on the daily. Not even close, man. You got 13 hours. Oh, it'd be so easy to fall back into this pattern in 13 hours. It'd be, it could be a joke. But you have the oscillators helping you they're on your side man 60 minute had the pattern four hour had the hidden bullish shivers the daily has the hidden bullish shivers we just looked at Rin. we're showing the exact same combination of variables without the 60 minute all right we got we got peoples from nigeria in the house we got global community thanks for tuned in being tuned in sorry <clears throat> it's it's late early for me Super late early. There's only like one one thousand one hundred two patrons. I really hope you were able to I don't know man, there was a trade setup posted right today for all the new patrons because it, it just lined up that way. Yeah, it's a nice thing to wake up to. I only got two hours of sleep before my alerts all started going nuts. We got Tennessee and Mizzou in the house. What's up, y'all? No, I mean, everywhere, man. Everywhere. I'm sure a lot of people watching are not in the U.S. right now because it's so really late. Oh, the back test of 35k. You, you did it. Now you wonder, will we chat back test the neckline here, or 34.5, or is it just 35k? The psychological support resistance is going to be tested before it goes higher. That's a really good question. You don't really know. Okay, so <clears throat> 36,873 is your short term target. The next one after that would be 38K and then 40K. And then if you were going for a fourth target from that entry, man, you're, you're swinging for $46,533. You got on a fourth target, you always swing for not just the fences, but for the moon, man. 
Because, like, at that point, you're playing with house money. It's a joke. And you're just living on tendies, man. I don't know, man. I mean, if the psychological support's too strong, how can it get down to that neckline? So, we got 15 minutes till the 60 minute close. You got one hour, 15 minutes till the four hour candle close. Now, that four hour, I mean, you don't want to be going, I don't think you want to close below 35K on the four hour. I mean, again, like, yeah, people would say include that. I don't know, man. I'm not, I'm not including it. I think this is a, it's not just the downsloping resistance. It's the it's the uh, horizontal line support resistance is so important. So, and it, it's not just that. It's not just the fact that we're breaking a critical support resistance. It's all the seller exhaustion. It's the market. It's the chart implying that upside's next. More upside than this. Oh no, dude. No marathon stream at this time. I'm I'm super tired. I need to sleep because I've got things going on today. But I hey man, I'm not you're not gonna see me mad if uh Ethereum and Bitcoin pump uh in a little while while I'm sleeping. I'm not gonna be mad about it at all. So you got a Bitcoin trying to break out pretty critical areas, and you have Ethereum that this is just a gorgeous I mean, this is now getting to a point where, say this plays out, this is something you could print out, frame, and then put on your wall somewhere and be like, look at this textbook, beautiful ascending triangle and how it played out. Price discovery, 1650 and 1838 targets. What else has to happen, man? Like how much supply is left here? Fourth time. Man, that, your probability is real high now. You getting four, fifth touches in a structure this size, man. Probability starts really increasing of a breakout. So, yeah, I mean, I think it definitely Ethereum could be getting all-time highs soon. Like if Bitcoin, if this is a real on Bitcoin, yeah, Ethereum's gonna be seeing all-time highs. It could be today. It literally could be as early as today. That's how close we are. That's why I'm live right now. Like, I wouldn't be live at 5.46 a.m. Eastern if there wasn't a reason to be. you got to know that. So... All right, man. So... I love the smell of spins in the morning. Oh, yeah, Batson, do you? I mean, if I spun, it would be, you know, just a, it'd just be dead. I'm certainly not shooting whiskey or drinking alcohol at this hour. That'd be insanity. Wow, such a dumb joke, man. Wow, okay. I'm in debt. I shouldn't even have done it, man. I gotta just not do this. All right, man. Hopefully, you know, just despite the technical difficulties and stuff, um, trying to provide a little bit of education and insight and stuff in this stream Not here and there, sprinkles of it. Balls deep in it, long, send up only. Thank you, Luke, uh, for the 10 pound super chat. Thank you, dude. Yeah, Matthew, it's two chugs. Oh, yeah. Are they. You're like now, like doing it right now, but that type of now. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. It is too. Yeah. Looks like I'm getting wine because that's the only stuff that works with me on keto. It just makes me not feel miserable. Like, they're taking shots of whiskey, man. It's just awful. Why weren't we warned on Dash, man? God, dude, y'all are so trolly this morning in Patreon chat. Hey, man, I'm just gonna say it. Hey, look, man, you can't get mad at me like for for advertising Patreon. 
right? I mean, just because a lot of people join the Patreon without me advertising it doesn't mean... Look, it's the, it's the second of the month, so it's the second best day to join the Patreon. If you want to learn how to identify patterns, right? You want to learn how to swing trade. You want to learn how to manage your risk. Position size properly. You want to do all the right things, trader. Join the Patreon's the best way to do it, or one of the best ways, okay? You could ask all 1,100 freaking patrons about it and I think they would have things to say to you about it like positive so you know check it out if you want okay I, I, it's like obligatory right I got at least like shouted out once or twice a stream at the beginning of the month alright I mean I only did it once on the stream earlier today or yesterday What's up, Master Builder? He's new to the stream. Great content. Do you think Ethereum pulls back to 1400 before taking back off? No idea, man. Like, uh, TA doesn't really tell you if uh, Ethereum's going to pull back $40 before it moons. All I'm telling you is, at this time, this is a very, very bullish structure that is now testing the sell wall for the fourth time anything any test over three times you go beyond that mathematical probability increase that the breakout's coming so i mean and we're talking price discovery breakout this is like bitcoin before like this is bitcoin in 19,989 for like three weeks just testing testing three or four different times before it mooned uh, that's the way it looks to me so i mean really 1440 1400 this thing looks like it's about to actually go insane but that, it's kind of looked like that. I mean, it looked like that before we sold off and rallied again for the in, for testing the fourth time. So the, this is the absorption of the remaining supply by the looks of it. <clears throat> but uh, Bitcoin has to play ball. Bitcoin can't be a fake out. It can't be trash. Otherwise, this won't be able to break out. You have to understand that. But, but hey, at least you got help. What makes you more confident in Ethereum is the fact that Bitcoin is showing such strong variables on the four hour and the daily right now right the variables implying upside so you think if bitcoin goes to the upside ethereum is going to have a real good time especially especially because we've analyzed that ethereum to bitcoin pair that's showing a mega breakout colossal breakout occurring noise, there. Noise. can you look at bff looks great on multiple time scales with hidden bullish divergence class a on four hours and daily Cup and handle formation. RSI just broke out on four hours in the daily and back tested on the monthly. And then come supercharged village farms, right? Yeah, dude. Remember that? It was like a meme. Like a year ago. Nice and bullet divert and board, dude. I mean like Is there a good reason why large moves always seem to happen in the middle of the night? They don't. That's a figment of your imagination, dude. Alright. They don't. Sometimes they do. But not always. Well, man, I mean, there's different times of the day, right? You know, 2 a.m. Eastern, that's the London session for uh, 4X, right? You've got uh, the afternoon for America, which is like morning time for Asia. You just have different times where people are awake and active. Crypto's global. So give me time. There've been tons of moves. 11 a.m. There's been tons of moves. 5 p.m. our time or my time, right? There's moves at 1 a.m. my time sometimes. Dude, it's all over the place. I, for, so from my experience, it, it kind of happens all the time. And the moves we were getting Thank you, Mitch. Thank you, Yusef, dude. The moves we were getting all throughout December were happening at like 5, 6 to 11 a.m. It was like Wall Street. It seemed like. I mean, it was just when Americans were awake, the moves were happening. Just changes. Sleep deprivation. Uh, yeah, dude. Definitely deprived of sleep. So what did the... Uh, what was it that Pierre liked here? I mean, look at it. Like, 
I don't know how you can really like it right now. It's not a value areas. It's actually high to low at maybe value areas for a bear, you know, mega a resistance, a very critical one from 2019. Tested it. Uh, I mean, yeah, kind of, no matter what, the hidden bullish divergence there, but, um... You know what I'm looking for, Pierre? You know what we look for? You know what the strongest trades are by far, right? It's like a dec it's like an ascending broadening wedge. Yeah, hidden divergence. It could run to test 14.39. If it ever breaks 14.39, it's going to 18 bucks. But that's a big if. I don't know. Right now, what you really look, what you really care, what we really want, man. Right? You know, hey, look at this triple MACD bullish divergence down there. Right? Classic triple MACD bullish divergence. Look at that uh, supply line right there. I mean, oh, I'm sorry. Is that some sort of? wedge right that's better to me that seems like a better uh combination of variables than now are we looking for value all the time like this is not much value here so i mean dude again people can trade their ways i'm a, like a momentum value trader so i like i like shifting momentum on assets that are showing value I like 88% retraces, 786s are like double bottoms at those areas of value. That's like, and you know how reliable they are. They play out so much, right? They're so reliable. But things up here start getting into weird territory where it's like, I don't know, it could, could yeah, sure, it could go up. Flip a coin. You know, oh, you're right, dude. So you did it. So, meh. I'm saying meh on VFF, okay? Sure, it could keep going. Okay. Will we raise on Ethereum? The hidden bullish divergence is stupid. It's getting all stupid up in here on the daily. Yeah, hidden bullish divergence on the daily. I believe on Ethereum. So um, if Bitcoin plays ball, Ethereum gonna moon. And you're on the cusp. Like the breakout could happen literally today. So just beyond just beyond this is like bullish like f5 tornado watch excuse me this is what is it this this b thank you so much for joining the patreon just now cheers dude much love uh, please be sure to sing with the patreon the discord you must be in the discord or you won't get the value that is provided. Must be in the Discord. Imagine being a patron and not being in the Discord. If you're not in the Discord and you're a patron, you're doing it literally wrong. I'm sorry, I'm being candid. Couple of the handle, uh, couple of the handle, man. I mean, I don't know. I didn't really see a couple of the handle. Yeah, so early. Maybe like if it gets up to all time highs again. Wait, I need to wake up. What's up, Wood Division champ? Thank you, dude. It's the cup and handle I see, and that it could soon break out the little handle range. I don't, I mean, upsloping handle, because the only handle I saw was upsloping consolidation with that ascending broadening wedge. So, I mean, again, you want downsloping consolidation in a couple of handles, and you want the one side of the cup to match the other. We had not done that at all. I don't know, man. Like, uh, look, and don't be discouraged, Pierre. Don't think like, hey, man. He's talking crap about my like. You've you've been studying, you've been investing yourself. I know you have, and so like, just because I don't see something doesn't mean it can't work Zora, for you. Listen so just, a decentralized you know what I look rate. for. A governance coin with only ten. But people, other people have their own supply. systems too, right? So I'm just talking about one? my system. What's that, Dane? Can I analyze? I don't know if I can, dude. If, if it's on uh, TradingView, maybe? Zora? What is this? 
Legend of Zelda dude? Link and Zora. That's not it, right? Zoracles? It is Zoracles, it, but it's wrapped either two Zoracles, so that's weird. This is all that exists on Trading Bee, man. It's probably a weird chart. Yeah, dude. That's an ugly... Ah, dude. It's just... Yeah, I don't know, man. It's, you can't say it's bullish divergence because you keep making higher lows, but... Uh, like, how do you how do you even plot here, dude? I'm trying to. <sighs> there you go. That that's that's pretty good. The supply line, you know. And uh, if you break it, yeah, maybe good things could happen. But you haven't broken it yet. So um, how deep's the retrace been from the bottom? It's probably not what he wants to look at, but I can't help it. It's not on trading view. So it's like it almost hit a seven eight six retrace. So just know if it broke out, if it broke the supply line, then you're probably going to two seventy three, and then after two seventy three, three forty four. All right, big if, kind of dragon esque, but weird, weird dragon that you know got exposed to radiation and has like three feet. Okay. All right, yeah, the supply line. You break it, probably good things could happen, but until then, weird. I don't know. Okay, cool. Oh my God, my contacts, my eyeballs, man. Ethereum pushing? Not really. I mean, kind of. 1444, connect. I mean, you're, you're technically trying to break out right now. A little bit, yeah. That was not easy. The radioactive dragon, dude. The three-footer. Someone... I'm probably never going to go back to look at it, but someone can remind me and be like, Hey, man, that radioactive dragon played out. It wreaked havoc all over Middle Earth, and uh, a lot of people got wrecked. You had the Chernobyl dragon. I don't know about fundamentals in crypto, man. I'm really skeptical of it because, again, unless you're trying to be some sort of reserve currency like Bitcoin, store value, well, then you're probably on the business model side as a platform or, you know, a decentralized application. Okay, well, if you're going to be that, then you better, if you're going to convince me to want to own you long term, you better be able to prove to me how you're going to make money for me and how it's going to mathematically turn into higher prices on the chart. If you can't do that, there is no fundamentals. It's all this market, <clears throat> this crypto market is solely based on sentiment, speculation, and momentum. That's what this market's driven on. Not real fundamentals. Okay, real fundamentals are like Price to earnings, earnings per share, revenues, balance sheet. These cryptos don't have that. So that's why I don't really ever focus on fundamentals in this market because they don't have it. Hopefully that makes sense. That's getting across to you. So I came from traditional market. I, I didn't, a lot of people start their journey in TA and investing or whatever you want to call it in crypto they're drawn to crypto because of the extreme amount of gains and seconds and stuff the rudy poo pump and dumps they love it the adrenaline rush for me it was it was always about like the cool calm you know hey it makes sense to own this asset because look how much money they make right that's look at the trend has been like since 1970 something has always been bullish right so um that's kind of how i feel about fundamentals in crypto because they're not really fundamentals There's, there's no enforcement either, right? By law, if you're on the stock market, you have to quarterly report how much money you make or you don't make. Crypto, no, they don't have to do crap. They don't tell you anything. And they probably wouldn't tell you most things that are bad because they don't legally have to. So that right there, 
again, I love a trader's market. I love Bitcoin. I think Ethereum's got a big future. In terms of everything else, hey man, like, you know, do your own diligence. Uh, you could look, there's nothing wrong with speculating, but don't call it investing. As long as you understand you putting money in ADA, Cardano, because you believe, you think the future is bright for it, understand you're speculating because they can't really prove that they're going to make you returns with revenue. Get it? Quarterly revenue. Currencies, dude, again, like all these these assets, XRP, you're trying to tell me XRP is a currency when it's an actual service that banks use? That's like a service. That's like, dude, think about blockchain like cloud companies. Cloud companies started popping up all the summer, like CRM and HubSpot and Wix, right? It's a service. They provide a service. So fine. If you're going to provide a service, then make money on it and then prove to me how much money you make by reporting it quarterly. It's pretty simple, man. If you're not going to try to be a store of value, then you're probably going to try to provide a service, right? VeChain, logistics, they provide logistics. So, it, and it teams up and combines with the artificial intelligence of all these, uh, these companies, right? Their supply chains. So that's a service. So they can monetize that. Are they all got some of them have all different ones, right? And I don't even know what most of them do. Anyway, Bitcoin is, I'm sorry, Ethereum is right there, man. Like, if Bitcoin catches bids, dude, Ethereum is going into price discovery mode very soon. You're there, you're on the cusp, man. Remember, the bullish deep crab pattern. Super strong. Futures, uh, stock futures have been climbing uh, kind of methodically all night. I mean, the uh, S&P 500 and Dow Jones are up about 1% and silver futures down 5% after that uh, miraculous run. And Bitcoin, you know, looks good, right? I mean, 35,530. I like it, man. So I'm just kind of like killing a little time. There's less than an hour to go until the uh, four hour close. And uh, look, you're just sitting there, just hanging out, man. On the cusp of a serious glory where it could just happen and it's just like mother of God. Thanks again for all the, the 1,102 patrons. I never, I never would have dreamed it, man, never. Hey, dude, did you know that you're going to have 1,102 patrons by February of 2021? I'd be like, you're, you're lying. You're just saying that, man, to make me feel good or something. You know, that's what I would have told you. But it's here. It's It happened. So thank y'all. My God, man. Big deal. Yeah, Dash used to be uh, $1,200. Sorry, Patreon chat, just reading a little bit of No, man, I like my interpretation of the way Bitcoin is on the daily. I'm good, man. Like, this is my interpretation. So I think it's breaking out. And uh, I think you have the four hour and the daily uh, oscillators that are kind of implying what's happening. So again, 
Obviously it could be wrong and someone can adjust for the Elon tweet, which was a crap out. It shouldn't even existed. You know, it was so relevant. It was like up and down in hours. It didn't even matter. There you go, PKR. Good stuff, man. Well, don't get cocky, kid, because we're not there yet. But good news, man, Ethereum, right? Despite that little barely one dollar stop out or whatever, because I didn't I didn't uh I put the All right, chat, RBC, breaking out. We got a breakout, man. Okay, Rubik to wrapped ether, whatever it is. We looked at it, man. I'm trying to break out right now. It's up 13.65%. I mean, it's like. And then, just like that. It's up 13%. My God. Yes, I've heard of the F2 pool Bitcoin dump. Yup. Yeah, I'm sure that could be concerning, man. But uh, yeah, they've been continuously offloading their, you know, they've been selling their Bitcoin. They've sold about 10% currently of what they have. And uh, guess what, man? Bitcoin somehow has held on and it's making higher lows and it's broken out of multiple resistance points. So, hey, man. You can't, I mean, like, it's it's real, and, and it could be bad, but again, I'm looking at the technicals on Bitcoin, and they're not, it's not implying a major sell-off. It's implying upside next, continuation of the upside. In a bull cycle, where there was certainly no buyer exhaustion at 40K when we got there, so that's it. All right, dude, let's go. I'm adding another alert, like just a random alert. If I hear it, it's like, oh my God. Which one of you bought this? God. The much more sexy ascending triangle. Let's, let's stick with Ethereum. I like Ethereum's of 5.2%, all right? Yeah, isn't uh, MicroStrategy getting into mining, more mining or something? Luna nonstop rampage and it all started with what? Can someone tell me how it, the party got started for Luna? Someone tell me what pattern it was? Let's me know you're awake, you're learning, you're getting better, man. That's right, really, really ridiculously, really, really, really ridiculously good looking, exactly. So again, you're talking about like this is this was bullish until it fell below the previous low, like for real. Despite any stop, like those all those targets for patrons, the newer ones on that setup on Ethereum, they're all valid. They're all still extremely valid. So that would be your compass for price discovery for targeting. All right. Oh yeah, the micro strategy conference coming out. Is it today? I thought it was Thursday. If it's today, dude. But you got a hundred hedge funds. Michael Saylor is going to be talking to how to invest, how to get exposure to Bitcoin. I mean, that people are, uh, what is it? The, uh, what is the gold, the gold meeting they had a long time ago? Uh, what is it called? Come on. Raul Paul talks about it all the time. It's talking about like getting on the gold standard. You know what it is, man. I'm, it's really early in the morning for me and about two hours of sleep. It's on the fourth. Yeah, thoughts are Thursday, right? Come on, so tell me what it is. That meeting. Bretton Woods, that's right, Matthew. Bretton Woods. It's there. People are comparing the meeting coming up on Thursday to the Bretton Woods. Yep. Where they all got on the gold standard. Oh, it's day one. It's Wednesday. Okay, so it's tomorrow. All right. I I, I was I was uh, reading Thursday, so it's maybe a multi-day thing or something. Ethereum does look incredible, man. Look at it, fourteen forty-eight. I'm just we're staring at a breakout occurring right now. Look, I'm, I'm scaled in, and this is like pinpoint accurate from January nineteenth. That one high. That's where it started, man. And then everything else correlates to that trend line after, right? You see it? Yeah, you got the scam wake. Who cares about the scam wake? Look, look at the 
three other wicks after that that scam wick, right? And then look at this one. That this is real. Like we're witnessing right now an, a, another attempted breakout by Ethereum. So this is very significant. I mean, this is where we we get follow the price action. It's real. It's a big time breakout. So it's happening. That's why I'm live. I'm literally live at 6 14 a.m. Eastern. Shouldn't be. Oh, be sure to join the freaking Discord if you haven't, okay? Join the Discord. I think this is a valid link. Probably not. I don't know. You're on the cusp, man. And I, I want to be here for it, but, dude, I don't know how long it's going to take. You know, you can't time these things. I'm sorry. You just can't. This thing could be sitting here, chilling for the next three hours. You have 44 minutes, so you're four-hour close. So, you know what? If, if you closed on the four-hour right now, chat, Ethereum will be closing at its highest level of all time on this time scale. That's historic. That's very historic. Traders never set it up at 1446 ever. Resistance became support on the 60 minute. Hey, that's cool. That's cool. We can look at dude, I mean like we joke about it, but I mean like if the four hour and the daily look good, 60 minute, look at it. Kinda, yeah. I mean, kind of, right? Overbought on the 60 minute, so. Yeah, man. I think four hours good, though. I love the four hour, how it's just sitting at 64.7. That is perfect, man. Perfect. Abina, Abina, me too. I can barely think as well. Sleep well. So Ron, what's up, chat? Very nice, man. Like, I like just. If you haven't noticed, the past like three weeks, the streams have just been almost robotic. I'm unable to really just look at the chat and just read the comments. I don't know if you've noticed. It's something I've noticed. The dynamic changed dramatically in the past three weeks. There you go. Hey, the, the link works. Thank you all for joining the uh, Discord. we got over 11,000 members. So we just keep growing. Road to 12K. The road to 50K on YouTube. 50,000. We're like less than 4,000 away. Hey, I just noticed this. My bad. I didn't see that. Uh, Timo B, thank you so much for joining the Patreon. Welcome, dude. Please be sure to sing with the Patreon, the Discord. You gotta do it, all right? Thank you, Philip. Very, very cool. There's like 1,104 patrons now, I think. More psychological resistance is broken. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Thank y'all. Keep joining the Discord. Everyone in here should be in the Discord because, like, you know. What if I go live at 5 a.m. And, and YouTube doesn't notify you? You're never going to know. But maybe you wanted to just maybe be here because there's a reason why, right? I'm live, you know, price action analysis. And uh, YouTube will fail you with the notifications. So, like, being the Discord, you will be notified 100% no matter what. So you'll never miss a live stream. And I think that's a really important part of being in the Discord. Muddy, the problem with that is, man, like, all the requests come in, like, I, I can't, uh, I don't like getting behind. If you haven't noticed in some of the streams, it's like, um, it'll be a two-hour live stream, and I'm still doing requests. That's why the, the minimum had to go up. There was just, like, no way. Like, if, if I didn't increase the minimum, I'd be live for three hours doing straight requests, and I, and I would just burn out, kind of, right? Uh, thanks for your opinion, man. But uh, 
if you, if you can't handle it, man, I mean, no one's forcing you to watch the stream, right? That's me showing gratitude to people who are supporting this stream to keep this going, man. And I guess, are you a patron? Are you supporting the stream? I mean, I don't, I don't know, man. It's just weird to complain about like the notification when someone joins the Patreon, when they spend $130 of their hard-earned money to support this community, you can't handle three seconds of some very nice chimes. I think they're, I think they sound great, Jeremy Ragsdale. So, mm. can't please everyone. Very, very real. Discord link. Yep. There you go. There it is. Posting again. There you go. They, see, T Dog, perfect. He says, Yeah, after you had two failed YouTube lives, exactly. YouTube did not notify me the third time, and that's why Discord's important because things happen, man. But now it's like, Hey, man, just join the Patreon to piss off people that are annoyed by it. Can y'all hear me? Is this thing live? Zero kilobytes per second. Whoa, I just cut out really bad. Yeah, major Fs, dude. Is it, we're, are we back? Are we back? I'm back. It's showing that that's the case, but uh, this is what happens, Larry, when you have to tether to a provider. You can hear me? Okay, cool. Yeah, remember, I am not on my normal inter internet right now. So these things could happen. We back. Read. And then there you go. This is what uh, if you closed right now, Ethereum would not be making history. Get how close you are to all time eyes. I have coffee left. I just don't feel like drinking it because, like, I know I'm going straight to bed after this. I don't want to have the issues trying to fall asleep. All right, man. Well, I'm going to leave it to you. I don't think I'm sticking around for 37 minutes. It's like just the main thing was the clarity. All right. Just wanted you to have clarity on what's going on on the big boys, the big assets in crypto. Thank you. You've got it. Have your alerts set up. Anything, anything above one thousand four hundred seventy-seven dollars and thirty cents is the highest low of all time. So have them set up so you don't miss. But uh, price discovery could be upon us. Bitcoin has to play ball, man. If Bitcoin fakes out, Ethereum's not going anywhere. Good news for Bitcoin that is showing bullish variables on multiple time scales. So, so I uh, really do appreciate y'all coming out this morning. Weird times. Thanks for likes, love, support, contributions, everything in between. The new patrons, the recurring patrons, everyone, y'all amazing. Very grateful. I'll be back. Hopefully it will be at all time eyes, you know. I hate that I'm gonna miss it, but like, hey, if I wake up tomorrow or today and we're at all time eyes, fantastic. I'm happy. So I'll be back. Till next time. Respect the T A. Small capital and position sizing in detail. Thanks. Yeah, we've got uh, your educational videos on position sizing, risk management, and all that. Yeah, and I mean, dude, I'm telling you, in the Patreon chat, you have questions. There are so many people that are willing to help you, including me. Uh, you being in the Patreon, like, you will learn a stupid amount if you want to. 
If you don't want to, you won't learn anything. So it just all depends on your mentality going into Patreon. I don't want people joining the Patreon only for the setups. Yes, they've been good. Yes, I get it. But I want you to be able to learn to do this on your own. So you're self-reliant as a trader. And it's always about, I want to give you the fishing pole, not the fish. We give fish, but I want you in the end to be able to fish yourself. All right, thank you, dude, for the 360, William. Thanks for the consideration, Kings. Hey, Vishnu, what's up, dude? Thanks so much for joining the Patreon right now. Um, I don't even know that's working. Hold on. We'll do it. There you go, dude. Thank you, uh, Vishnu, for joining right now. Much love. There's your Jesus Chimes. To annoy some people. All right. Hey, Boosty, thanks so much for joining the Patreon. Please be sure to sing the Patreon Discord. I'm in the chat. Love those Jesus Chimes. Thanks so much. Kangs.
Sensei. Adios, turd nuggets. <laughs>